Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi, formerly Latinized as Algorithmi, was a Persian mathematician, astronomer and geographer during the Abbasid Caliphate, a scholar in the House of Wisdom in Baghdad. In the 12th century, Latin translations of his work on the Indian numerals introduced the decimal positional number system to the Western world. Al-Khwarizmi's The Compendious Book on Calculation by Completion and Balancing presented the first systematic solution of linear and quadratic equations in Arabic. In Renaissance Europe, he was considered the original inventor of algebra, although it is now known that his work is based on older Indian or Greek sources. He revised Ptolemy's geography and wrote on astronomy and astrology. Some words reflect the importance of al contributions to mathematics. Algebra is derived from aljabr, one of the two operations he used to solve quadratic equations. Algorithm and algorithm stem from algorithmi, the Latin form of his name. His name is also the origin of garismo and of algorismo, both meaning digit, life. Few details of al life are known with certainty. He was born in a Persian family and Ibn al-Madim gives his birthplace as Khwarezm in Greater Khorasan. Muhammad ibn Jarrah al-Tabari gives his name as Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi al-Majasi al-Qutrabuli. The epithet al-Qutrabuli could indicate he might instead have come from Qutrabul, a viticulture district near Baghdad. However, Rash suggests. There is no need to be an expert on the period or a philologist to see that Al-Tabari's second citation should read, Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi, and al-Majasi al qutra al and that there are two people between whom the letter wa, Arabic, for the conjunction, and, has been omitted in, an early copy. This would not be worth mentioning if a series of errors concerning the personality of al khwarizmi occasionally even the origins of his knowledge, had not been made. Recently, J. Tumar, with naive confidence constructed an entire fantasy on the error which cannot be denied the merit of amusing the reader. Regarding al khwarizmis religion, Tuma writes, Another epithet given to him by al abari al-Majasi, would seem to indicate that he was an adherent of the old Zoroastrian religion. This would still have been possible at that time for a man of Iranian origin. But the pious preface to al khwarizmis algebra shows that he was an orthodox Muslim, so al abaris epithet could mean no more than that his forebears, and perhaps he in his youth, had been Zoroastrians. Ibn al-Madim's Kitab al firas includes a short biography on al khwarizmi together with a list of the books he wrote. al khwarizmi accomplished most of his work in the period between 813 and 833. After the Muslim conquest of Persia, Baghdad became the center of scientific studies and trade, and many merchants and scientists from as far as China and India traveled to this city, as did al khwarizmi he worked in Baghdad as a scholar at the House of Wisdom established by Caliph al-Mamun, where he studied the sciences and mathematics, which included the translation of Greek and Sanskrit scientific manuscripts. Douglas Morton Dunlop suggests that it may have been possible that Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi was in fact the same person as Muhammad ibn Musa, ibn Shakir, the eldest of the three Banu Musa. Contributions al khwarizmis contributions to mathematics, geography, astronomy, and cartography established the basis for innovation in algebra and trigonometry. His systematic approach to solving linear and quadratic equations led to algebra, a word derived from the title of his 830 book on the subject, the compendious book on calculation by completion and balancing. On the calculation with Hindu numerals written about 825, was principally responsible for spreading the Hindu Arabic numeral system throughout the Middle East and Europe. It was translated into Latin as algorithmi de numero indorum. Alquarismi, rendered as algorithmi, led to the term algorithm. Some of his work was based on Persian and Babylonian astronomy, Indian numbers, and Greek mathematics. Al Khwarizmi systematized and corrected Ptolemy's data for Africa and the Middle East. 
Another major book was Kitab Sarat al ard presenting the coordinates of places based on those in the geography of Ptolemy, but with improved values for the Mediterranean Sea, Asia, and Africa. He also wrote on mechanical devices like the astrolabe and sundial. He assisted a project to determine the circumference of the Earth and in making a world map for al mamun the caliph, overseeing 70 geographers. When, in the 12th century, his works spread to Europe through Latin translations, it had a profound impact on the advance of mathematics in Europe. Algebra The compendious book on calculation by completion and balancing is a mathematical book written approximately 830 CE. The book was written with the encouragement of Caliph al mamun as a popular work on calculation and is replete with examples and applications to a wide range of problems in trade, surveying and legal inheritance. The term algebra is derived from the name of one of the basic operations with equations described in this book. The book was translated in Latin as Liber Algebrae A. Al Mukabala by Robert Achester Hentz, Algebra, and also by Gerard of Cremona. A unique Arabic copy is kept at Oxford and was translated in 1831 by F. Rosen. A Latin translation is kept in Cambridge. It provided an exhaustive account of solving polynomial equations up to the second degree, and discussed the fundamental methods of reduction and balancing, referring to the transposition of terms to the other side of an equation, that is, the cancellation of like terms on opposite sides of the equation. al khwarizmis method of solving linear and quadratic equations worked by first reducing the equation to one of six standard forms squares equal roots, squares equal number, roots equal number, squares and roots equal number, squares and number equal roots, roots and number equal squares. By dividing out the coefficient of the square and using the two operations aljabr and al muqabalah aljabr is the process of removing negative units, roots and squares from the equation by adding the same quantity to each side. For example, x2 equals 40x minus 4 by 2 is reduced to 5 by 2 equals 40x. al muqabalah is the process of bringing quantities of the same type to the same side of the equation. For example, x2 plus 14 equals x plus 5 is reduced to x2 plus 9 equals x. The above discussion uses modern mathematical notation for the types of problems which the book discusses. However, in al khwarizmis day, most of this notation had not yet been invented, so he had to use ordinary text to present problems and their solutions. For example, for one problem he writes, if someone say, you divide 10 into two parts, multiply the one by itself, it will be equal to the other taken 81 times, computation. You say, 10 less thing, multiplied by itself, is 100 plus a square less 20 things, and this is equal to 81 things. Separate the 20 things from 100 and a square, and add them to 81. It will then be 100 plus a square, which is equal to 101 roots. Half the roots, the moiety is 50 and a half. Multiply this by itself, it is 2,550 and a quarter. Subtract from this 100, the remainder is 2,450 and a quarter. Extract the root from this, it is 49 and a half. Subtract this from the moiety of the roots, which is 50 and a half. There remains one, and this is one of the two parts. In modern notation this process, with, x, the, thing, or, root, is given by the steps, let the roots of the equation be, p, and, q, then, and so a root is given by several authors have also published texts under the name of Kitab al-Jabr wal Makabalah, including Abu Anafa Dinawari, Abu Kamal, Shuja ibn Aslam, Abu Muhammad al-Adli, Abu Yusuf al-Misuzi, Abdal Hamid ibn Turk, Sindh ibn Ali. 
Hafs al Ibn Bisr, and Sharif al Din al Usi, J.J. O'Connor and E. F. Robertson wrote in the Maktu to History of Mathematics Archive, perhaps one of the most significant advances made by Arabic mathematics began at this time with the work of al Khwarizmi namely the beginnings of algebra. It is important to understand just how significant this new idea was. It was a revolutionary move away from the Greek concept of mathematics which was essentially geometry. Algebra was a unifying theory which allowed rational numbers, irrational numbers, geometrical magnitudes, etc., to all be treated as algebraic objects. It gave mathematics a whole new development path so much broader in concept to that which had existed before, and provided a vehicle for future development of the subject. Another important aspect of the introduction of algebraic ideas was that it allowed mathematics to be applied to itself in a way which had not happened before. R. Rashd and Angela Armstrong write, al khwarizmis text can be seen to be distinct not only from the Babylonian tablets, but also from Diophantus or Arithmetica. It no longer concerns a series of problems to be resolved, but an exposition which starts with primitive terms in which the combinations must give all possible prototypes for equations, which henceforward explicitly constitute the true object of study. On the other hand, the idea of an equation for its own sake appears from the beginning and, one could say, in a generic manner, insofar as it does not simply emerge in the course of solving a problem, but is specifically called on to define an infinite class of problems. Arithmetic al second major work was on the subject of arithmetic, which survived in a Latin translation but was lost in the original Arabic. The translation was most likely done in the 12th century by Adelard of Bath, who had also translated the astronomical tables in 1126. The Latin manuscripts are untitled, but are commonly referred to by the first two words with which they start. Dixit algorithmi, or, or algorithmi de numero indorum, a name given to the work by Baldas Arabon Compagnar in 1857. The original Arabic title was possibly Kitab al-Jam, wa tafriq by Isab al-Hind. al khwarizmis work on arithmetic was responsible for introducing the Arabic numerals, based on the Hindu-Arabic numeral system developed in Indian mathematics, to the Western world. The term algorithm is derived from the algorithm, the technique of performing arithmetic with Hindu-Arabic numerals developed by al khwarizmi both algorithm and algorithm are derived from the Latinized forms of al name, algorithmi and algorithma, respectively. Astronomy al Zij al Sindand is a work consisting of approximately 37 chapters on calendrical and astronomical calculations and 116 tables with calendrical, astronomical and astrological data, as well as a table of sign values. This is the first of many Arabic zijes based on the Indian astronomical methods known as the Sindand. The work contains tables for the movements of the Sun, the Moon and the five planets known at the time. This work marks the turning point in Islamic astronomy. Hitherto, Muslim astronomers had adopted a primarily research approach to the field, translating works of others and learning already discovered knowledge. The original Arabic version is lost, but a version by the Spanish astronomer Maslama ibn Ahmad al majariti has survived in a Latin translation, presumably by Adelard of Bath. The four surviving manuscripts of the Latin translation are kept at the Bibliothèque Publique, the Bibliothèque Mazarin, the Bibliotheca National and the Bodleian Library. Trigonometry al khwarizmi Zij al and also contained tables for the trigonometric functions of sines and cosine. A related treatise on spherical trigonometry is also attributed to him. Geography al khwarizmis third major work is his Kitab Sarah Talad, also known as his Geography, which was finished in 833. It is a major reworking of Ptolemy's 2nd-century geography. 
consisting of a list of 2,402 coordinates of cities and other geographical features following a general introduction. There is only one surviving copy of Kitab Surat Alad, which is kept at the Strasbourg University Library. A Latin translation is kept at the Biblioteca Nacional de España in Madrid. The book opens with the list of latitudes and longitudes, in order of weather zones, that is to say in blocks of latitudes and in each weather zone, by order of longitude, as Paul Gales points out. This excellent system allows the deduction of many latitudes and longitudes where the only extant document is in such a bad condition as to make it practically illegible. Neither the Arabic copy nor the Latin translation include the map of the world itself. However, Hubert Dornick was able to reconstruct the missing map from the list of coordinates. Dornick read the latitudes and longitudes of the coastal points in the manuscript, or deduces them from the context where they were not legible. He transferred the points onto graph paper and connected them with straight lines, obtaining an approximation of the coastline as it was on the original map. He then does the same for the rivers and towns. al corrected Ptolemy's gross overestimate for the length of the Mediterranean Sea from the Canary Islands to the eastern shores of the Mediterranean. Ptolemy overestimated it at 63 degrees of longitude, while al almost correctly estimated it at nearly 50 degrees of longitude. He also depicted the Atlantic and Indian Oceans as open bodies of water, not landlocked seas as Ptolemy had done. al prime meridian at the Fortunate Isles was thus around 10 degrees east of the line used by Marinus and Ptolemy. Most medieval Muslim gazetteers continued to use al prime meridian. Jewish calendar al Khwarizmi wrote several other works including a treatise on the Hebrew calendar titled Risala fi istakrij tariq al-Yahud. It describes the metonic cycle, a 19-year intercalation cycle, the rules for determining on what day of the week the first day of the month Tishrei shall fall, calculates the interval between the Anamundi or Jewish year and the Seleucid era, and gives rules for determining the mean longitude of the sun and the moon using the Hebrew calendar. Similar material is found in the works of Abu Rehan al-Biruni and Maimonides. Other works Ibn al-Madim's Kitab al-Firist, an index of Arabic books, mentions al khwarizmis Kitab al-Tariq, a book of annals. No direct manuscript survives, however, a copy had reached Nusay bin by the 11th century, where its metropolitan bishop, Mar Elias Barshnaya, found it. Elias's chronicle quotes it from the death of the prophet through to 169R, at which point Elias's text itself hits a lacuna. Several Arabic manuscripts in Berlin, Istanbul, Tashkent, Cairo and Paris contain further material that surely or with some probability comes from al khwarizmi the Istanbul manuscript contains a paper on sundials. The Firas credits al khwarizmi with Kitab al-Rakama. Other papers, such as one on the determination of the direction of Mecca, are on the spherical astronomy. Two texts deserve special interest on the morning width and the determination of the azimuth from a height. He also wrote two books on using and constructing astrolabes.